Hello everyone, this is Suyog. Welcome to my channel, Learn Tableau with Suyog. Also, please subscribe to my channel uh, as I will be posting more videos like this one to help you build your interactive resume in Tableau Public and also help you learn Tableau one visualization at a time. In previous video, we learned how to add custom shapes or logos into Tableau and in this video, I will show you how you can create a gate chart also known as a speedometer chart. So basically, in my interactive resume, we are trying to build this visualization right here. So let's get started. So for that, I'm going to create a new sheet by clicking on this icon. In order to create this visualization, we're going to use some maths. I know it sounds little intimidating, but don't worry. I will be providing all the formulas which I use for this visualization in the description of the video. So let's create some calculated fields first. So I'm going to click on this drop down here and click a calculated field. So first we we're going to create a calculated field to normalize the proficiency when, when whenever you are creating any calculated fields in Tableau you can always um, check what those mean so for example like if you click on this it will show um, what that formula is about and it will have like little description also like few examples so this is done so hit apply and okay so we are trying to map all the proficiency uh, of your our tool on um, on a graph in 180 degrees uh, so we need to create uh, x coordinates and y coordinates and also uh, we need to define the angle so first we'll start with uh, First, we'll create the angle calculated field. So we're gonna name this angle, and we we just gonna use the calculated field which we just created, which is proficiency percentage, and we're gonna multiply this with 180 degrees. That's the angle we're gonna use, and we can just convert this to an integer by typing INT and hit apply okay as I mentioned earlier we we need to plot this on X and Y axis so we need to create X coordinate and Y coordinate for this so let's create the X coordinate first so this is the formula for the X coordinate um, I know this looks intimidating you don't need to go into detail about about what's the maths behind this you just need to know the formula and as I mentioned earlier I'm gonna providing these formulas in the description of the video so it apply we also gonna create so this is the formula for the Y coordinate hit apply okay I will quickly show you what exactly I did and I will try to map this on um, sheet here you don't need to do that I'm just doing this to visualize so basically what I did for the tools proficiency I created a normalized value which is from 0 to 1 and I assigned that value uh, X and Y coordinates and also give them a particular angle on 180 degree scale so that's basically those calculated fields are in the interactive resume what I did I give end users a parameter to select from uh, basically it's a drop down so next we're gonna create that drop down here and for that we just gonna click on create a parameter and we're gonna name this select a tool to know, know the proficiency and we're gonna use this as a string and we, we're gonna use the list and we're gonna bring the list from the tools dimension so we, you can click on this add from field 
and you can select tools so now you can see all your tools here and it, it will be shown as in the parameter section so we successfully created a parameter now we need to create X and Y coordinates which which needs to be changed by this newly created parameter so you can modify this existing formulas or you can create new one I will just modify this one and click on the drop down menu here and click on edit and I'm gonna add so X with parameter and I'm gonna just add one quick if statement here so basically I have added this if statement here if the tool is whatever we select in this newly created parameter then calculate the X coordinate of that do the same thing for Y as well apply so now we're gonna plot the graph so for this we're gonna bring the X with parameter on columns and Y with parameters on two rows gonna bring the tools and here we need to change the X and Y parameters to compute using not table across but to tools and we're gonna do the same for Y parameter compute using tools and instead of showing it circle we're gonna click on line so this will act as a pointer in our speedometer chart so now we're gonna bring the background image to this speedometer chart so you can google for any a speedometer chart image and you can simply download that as an image and here in order to bring that image into tableau you just need to click on map and click on background images click on this timeline and you can click on this add image you need to browse the image from your PC this is the image I just downloaded and here for the X field uh, we need to give it like the right position so here for the left minus 0 0.5 and for the right 2.5 and for the Y with parameter the bottom would be 1 and the top would be 2.5 I'll be providing all these um, details as well in the description of the video. You just hit apply. Okay. Okay. In order to match with the image we just bring in, we need to adjust our axis. So you can right click on the X axis and click edit axis. And here the range should be fixed. And we can select the same which we selected for the image, which is you want to start at minus 0 0.5 and the end should be 2.5 we're gonna do the same for y-axis as well right click on y-axis edit the axis with the fixed and the start would be at 1 and here end at like 2.5 now our image and axis and everything is mapped very good so now we need to show the parameter control so the end users can select a particular tool so to do that you can right click on in a parameter or you can simply click on this drop down here and you can click on show parameter control in order to bring all the custom shapes uh, to this visualization and also added the labels we need to continue editing this uh, so for that you need to you may want to bring uh, Y with parameter to rows again and what it 
does is basically it created a two graphs two duplicated graphs here and you can combine so basically we have like a x axis in common and we have like two y axis so you can combine two y axis so it will show the one visualization to, to do that you can click on this drop down here and you can click on dual axis so now it's only one visualization with two axes in the same so you can simply click on uh, uncheck this show header here you may want to do the same for X and Y axis as well just right click on it and uncheck the show header so now I don't want to see anything on color so I will just remove this major names from color and he here you may have noticed like since we have two axes uh, on the row here we have like uh, two different cards here for Y with parameters so I'm gonna do the same for other one as well remove the major names from the color and here you may have noticed like it's not um, aligned uh, with the other one because we haven't changed this uh, to compute using a tool it's still doing table across that's why you are seeing a different line here you can do that uh, tools here still you, you are seeing these two distinct pointers so the reason is this newly created Y parameter is not matching with this existing Y parameter and to do that you can just simply click on this Y parameter and you can click on synchronize axis and now both the axes are synchronized and you can right click on it and uncheck the show header so now we can bring tools to label and now it will show whatever the tool you selected on top here also you can bring a proficiency on a label here and you can simply select average and you can format the number by click uh, clicking the drop down here click on format and select a standard number also you can bring uh, the proficiency percentage and you may want to convert that to a percentage and also instead of line here you can bring the shapes card and bring the tools to shape and that will bring uh, the customized icons which we downloaded and bring those into Tableau in the previous um, previous video you can increase the size so in order to edit those labels uh, you can click on label and click on this uh, three dots here and here and you can just type tool name is equal to tools proficiency proficiency percentage is equal to and you may want to change the color to red and it apply and now you can see it here it's nicely formatted and you can change the alignment to show it on top as you can see when you select Excel uh, which is which proficiency is like 10 and you kind of like losing uh, the logo here since uh, the image is like very tight you can change the Y coordinates and you can bring this image a little up so to do that you can click on this Y with parameter drop down here and you can click on show header you can right click on it and you can 
let's say edit access and here instead of st starting at 1 you can click on maybe 0 0.9 and again hide this one so here you may have noticed this like dotted line you can get rid of those by clicking format here if you click on the lines then you will see those are like zero lines and you can click none and there you go now you don't have that line anymore here so we're gonna change the name there you go we successfully created a gate chart thank you so much guys for watching this video if you have any comments or questions uh, feel free to reach out